Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to be doing these Corpse Bride nails. I'll be using Savaland acrylic as well as Mia Secret and some clear. I start by taking the blue Savaland color and putting it on the middle and ring. Then I'm taking this sort of tannish color by Savaland and putting it on the pointer. These Savaland acrylics do glow in the dark. And for the thumb and the pinky, I'm going to be taking the Cover Nude Blush by Mia Secret and doing a French design. I do this by using my French Smile Line Tip Cutter. Then I'm taking some clear and capping them all. I do this to add some strength just so that way our nails are nice and strong. Now I'm going to go ahead and file them. Once the smile lines are all filed the way I like, I'm going to go ahead and start laying down the acrylic. I put the same tan color on the pinky nail and then I'm going in with the blue for the thumb. I capped those with clear now that they're all filed and buffed, I'm going to go ahead with the nail art. I start off by taking this glow in the dark orange color by Savaland and I put that where we put the tan color before. Once we have that down, I'm going to go ahead and take some base gel as well as some black and mix it to sort of get a sheer sort of transparent grayish color. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and outline the nail in black and then add these black swirl designs. They're basically just a bunch of S's. I'm not being too particular with this design, just sort of filling in the spaces that I see. Then I go ahead and add some little detailing to the S's, adding some extra little lines. And now I'm going to start on our first character. I start by doing a very, very rough outline. When I say rough, I mean very rough. I wasn't sure if I would be able to do this design or not or how it would come out. But you gotta start somewhere, so I start with this very rough outline and start laying out where I want my proportions and the shapes to go. Once I have that down, I go ahead and add in some shading to the skin and I get started on that. I like to get the base done first and then go in with more detailing to get the eyes and the nose and everything like that perfect later. I try to add dimension using gels. That is definitely something I struggle with is getting a nice smooth transition using gel polish. So I do my best to get some shading and dimension while also getting a nice blend. Once I have most of the base done to a point that I like, I go ahead and start adding in our details. At this point, it's okay if it's not perfect. I'm still working out all the kinks and tweaking it and sort of going back and forth. As you can see, I sort of go back and forth between laying down some colors and then covering it up. I do like to cure as I go. I think that's the easiest way for me to do nail art. It makes doing any nail art design 10 times easier. You can cure as you go, and then if you make any mistakes or don't like something, you can just wipe it off without ruining everything. But I will say, depending on how often you cure, um, it does make the process take longer, but that's fine. I would rather do that than spend forever painting, mess something up, and then have to redo the whole thing over.
for our final step, I'm going to go ahead and add her little flower crown. And she's basically done. I'm going to go ahead and top coat her and look how she came out. I'm so proud of this one. It came out amazing. And now let's try to do the other character. <laughs> I'm nervous to do this one because you can't have one nail that's good and then the other one just sucks. <laughs> so I'm just really hoping this one turns out well too. And once again, doing a super rough outline of where his proportions are going to be, his basic face shape. And I start immediately going in with some shading. I was hoping to make this set glow in the dark, but unfortunately I don't have any glow in the dark white or grayish colors. And that was definitely a must for these characters. So some aspects do glow in the dark since I use glow in the dark acrylic. I did use some glow in the dark gel paints, but if you look at them in the dark, they look a little bit weird. <laughs> Once I have the base done and the shading the way I like, I'm going in with some more detailing. Drawing in his mouth, drawing in his nose, his eyebrows, and I sort of just keep going back and forth, putting some on, taking it away, and curing as I go. I'm starting to draw in his hair. And I did make a TikTok on this set just showing it off. Here it is. If you want, you can check me out on TikTok or Instagram at kros.nailartistry. I'll link it down below if you're interested. This set took me so long, doing these two character designs took me hours, but I think it was definitely worth it. They came out amazing. Lastly, I'm going to do his little suit. And finally some top coat. The top coat just brings all the layers together and makes it look so nice and smooth. For the thumbnail, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do something different with this one, but I decided to just keep it simple and do the same design that's on the pointer and the pinky nail. I start by drawing in our little French smile line and then adding our swirls. Once again, not being too particular, just putting it where I want it to go, filling in any spaces that I see.
adding in our little detail lines on the swirls. And now I'm going to go ahead and outline it. Before we top coat, I wanted to add a little bit of bling. I'm using McCart's rhinestone gel and I'm putting that on my pinky and thumb. I keep it simple with a cute little crystal placement by the cuticle. One last cure and here's how they came out. I was shocked that I was able to actually do this. I was worried I wouldn't and I'm so so happy with the result. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye!